Hello everyone and welcome to From the Heart Friday, session 110 with me, Jessica Brigden of Just Be Creative Cardiology. Hello, happy Friday to you. Woohoo! <laughs> Week's almost over. Hope you guys have had a great week. I know this has been a busy week for many of you with kids back to school and back to work, all kinds of crazy things here as school year begins and we transition from summer into fall. So with these cooler temperatures, I don't know what it is, but even though I've been out of school for what, 20 years, I still get those something about the change in the, the air smells different. It feels different. And even though it's the kids going back to school, I still get those, uh, butterflies in my stomach. There's still this excitement and anticipation about this time of year. Something about new beginnings. I don't know. So <laughs> if you're feeling that way too, let me know. <laughs> so as we transition, I have some really cute cards for us today. We are going to be using the Iconic dies. Let me show you these. So I know they look a little strange here on the paper. These super cute dies have little mushrooms and ferns and flowers and branches and leaves. There's a bumblebee, there's a bird. Here, you can see it better if I flip it that way. Gorgeous flowers. And what's unique about these dies is that they are not bundled with any particular stamp set. In fact, they are found on page 163 in your annual catalog, and they are way down here on the bottom. So super easy to miss because they are tucked in there with the rest of the dies, kind of hidden actually. It's $29 and there's 11 dies in this set. Hi Sophie, welcome. Hi Diana, hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. Thanks for joining me. Yes, and I love your comments, love when you share. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't already, please make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up, share all that good stuff. Hey Philomena, how are you? So yes, we are playing with the Stampin' Up! Iconic dies. Very overlooked, super cute, and perfect for fall. I'm going to pair them with the Stitched with Whimsy dies and some fun, uh, we're gonna do some Old Olive and Poppy Parade and then some neutrals like Crumb Cake, Soft Suede, and Early Espresso. I can see I've got kind of my wildflower shirt on here, so I'm dressing the part. Super cute designs. We are going to be playing with our sponge daubers as well as our blending brushes and making a little bit of a mess. So if you have um, a little craft pad, something that you like to use to protect your work service, make sure you grab that too. I am going to go ahead and flip. We're going to get started. Hey, Wendy. Yes, David and I had a lovely anniversary getaway. Thank you all so much for our 20th anniversary wishes. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the cards that we received and and I know um that our viewer Jesse and her husband who were celebrating their 63rd anniversary they really appreciate the <laughs> the well wishes as well so thank you guys so much actually this card has inspired we were up north uh we did some hiking and I snapped I was really David's always getting after me because I'm always taking pictures of like random flowers and trees and leaves and, you know, wildlife. And I snapped a really, what I think is a cute picture of a little cluster of mushrooms on the forest floor. I will share that picture here on my Facebook page um, after the video. So today's card really is inspired by the little cluster of mushrooms that I took a photo of. <laughs> so you never know where your inspiration will come from. Oh, Sophie, you're from Belgium. Welcome. Yeah, it's not quite fall here with beautiful, beautiful day today. It's like 70 degrees and sunny, light breeze. It's actually a little bit cool, but I'm not going to complain because this is the weather I would love all year round. So. <laughs> all right. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Okay, I'm going to flip. Let's get started here. Make this quick. I do have a new host code for September. I was able to do my drawing for the first winners of my giveaway here for helping me towards my goal. 
Um, so congratulations to Nancy Gardner and Marilyn Avery. They have both been contacted to pick out their prize winnings. So for every $50 that you order using my host code, your name gets entered. If you spend $100, you get two entries. Um, and I'm doing this till I meet my goal. Um, so far this month, I've had about $1,000 of orders come in. I still have about $3,000 to go in the next 20 days. So <laughs> whatever you can do to help, I appreciate it. All right. So, hey, Carmen, how are you? Oh, Kim says she gets inspiration from nature in the photos she takes all the time. Absolutely. So the iconic dyes, like I said, we're going to be pulling in some pops of color as well as some neutrals. Let me pull in my light so we can have a little little bit brighter here. All right, so for this one, we are starting out with our card base of crumb cake that is five and a half by eight and a half. We will fold this. Okay, so for this one, I am going to do a second layer of crumb cake. I cut this to four by five and a quarter. And the reason for that is and pairing it with the Timber 3D embossing folder. Now this particular folder is in the mini catalog. All right, the mini catalog, it's found on page 37. It's actually part of the Peaceful Place suite. And I love the wood grain texture of this folder. All right, and so when we take that out, what's nice is that Stampin' Up! always gives this little guideline here along the bottom. And when you turn your paper in, here we go, and insert it here, you can line the edge of your cardstock right up along with that line here so that you make sure that you're inserting your paper straight. Hey, Luann, you finally got on. Yes. <laughs> what did you miss? We are just starting. We are using the iconic dies from the annual catalog. They are on page 163. We are making some cute little mushroom cards inspired by, by some mushrooms, a photo that I took while we were on our trip this past weekend. And we are embossing our layer of crumb cake with the timber embossing folder. And when we run that through, then what we end up with is this. Isn't that cool? Did you love that texture? So I want to highlight that texture even more. So I said we make sure you've got a scrap piece here to protect your work surface. So I'm bringing in one of my blending brushes and my soft suede ink. Now I'm squishing my ink pad here. If you squish it together in the center to make sure the, the lid and the bottom kind of touch, then that helps you get this pool of ink here in the center. And that's actually what I'm gonna work from. I'm gonna go ahead and smear that around, all right, all over the place, and then come in and start working that over my layer of crumb cake here. And do you see how it's starting to highlight the texture of that wood grain? Helps us give it like a two-tone here. So I like to use soft suede, and this is crumb cake ink that I'm using. All right, so just keep going over that. I'm gonna go ahead and just squish that some more. This technique is also great if you are of course, watercoloring or anything, because you get that nice pool of ink in here. Yes, Luann, the, this is the timber embossing folder that is part of the Peaceful Place suite that is on page 37 of your mini catalog. Yeah, great folder. All right, let's come in here, add a little bit more. I just love all that texture. And of course, since we kind of had a woodland theme going on today, then this is, this is like the perfect embossing folder for that. Okay, so I'm just coming around. I don't really need too much in the center because that's where my um, focal panel will be, but I do want to come in just a little bit more around the edges. All right, so I'm just going to come right along the edge with that. Pick up a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, and then just rotate your cardstock as you add just a little bit more around the edges. 
You could also use your finger dauber with this if you like. That's definitely gonna give you just a little bit of an edge look there. All right, love that. Distressing, perfect, okay. All right, so quick and simple, this will go onto our crumb cake card base. I have a brand new stamp and seal refill in here. So we should be good to go for, <laughs> for today's programming. <laughs> yes, isn't that a beautiful, sweet Philomena, the peaceful place? I love that one. Okay, so now you can see why I did the crumb cake card base and then layered this on top. I much prefer that than sticking the whole thing into the um, embossing folder because this way you really just get a nice, um, nice panel image there. Okay, so the next part, we need some basic white, and I have cut this one a little bit different on the measurements here because I am using the Stitched with Whimsy dies. I'm going to use this particular die, and I wanted a really close cut right around the edge. I didn't want a lot of excess, so the measurement for that to get it to just fit a nice snug fit you need this to be three so three and three eighths by by four and five eighths so three and three eighths by four and five eighths all right that gives the perfect trim right around the stitched with whimsy die okay and when we are done with that, we get we get the stitching right here around the edge. What I have gone ahead and done, so here's what, what we started out with. Okay, and then what I also did, so this is a very um, die cut intensive project. So I used the fourth, one, two, three, this is the fourth size up of the stitched rectangles and when I ran it through my die cut machine I placed it right here on my basic white piece inside my stitched whimsy frame so that I could both have my whimsy around the outside but that I could also have this die cut stitched rectangle from the inside too. Oh thank you Marianne I'm glad you like it so far. <laughs> Luann says that um, Kylie's video from last night Oh, she gave everyone permission to buy all the embossing folders. All right. Well, thank you, Kylie. So <laughs> I second that motion. You have permission from me as well. How about I give you permission to buy all the dies? So you can. <laughs> she gives you permission for the folders. I'll give you permission on the dies. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So when we've done that, we are going to adhere our frame okay so you can see there's definitely i'm going to use the smoother side you could use the back side but it's it's a little messy there but what we're going to do is take our adhesive just around the edges of our frame i am gluing this flat and you'll see you'll see why in a moment because we're going to build up out of the center so we really are building our base here the card's going to be super cute. Doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but you can see we are <laughs> building our base. So what I'm taking then is a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. This piece is two and three eighths. So two and three eighths by three and three quarter. I know lots of measurements today, but I did that so that would just peek out from behind our stitched rectangle here okay so what we are going to do then is we can actually go ahead and adhere our poppy parade piece to our card front we're gonna fill in that a little bit of a gap all right so just right in here okay and then we've got this piece so let me bring in my scrap again i'm actually going to stamp my words 
first because as I get decorating, I have die cut all these cool leaves and or ferns and mushrooms, big and small. Hey, Janelle, how are you? Yeah, so we are using the Iconic dies. Love these. If you haven't tried them yet, they are on page 163 of your annual catalog. It's a set of 11 dies. Really cool. And they are sold by themselves. They are not a particular stamp set that uh, coordinates. However, they work perfectly. We're using the timber embossing folder from the mini catalog. And actually this flower here, I'll do that on another project another day. But this pretty flowers embossing folder that's a standalone in the annual catalog, this flower like perfectly mimics the embossed flower in that. So there you go. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Like I said, maybe we'll have to play with that next week. <laughs> so I'm going to pull in uh, my biggest wish set. Just a cute little hello. This is a whimsical card and I love the font on that. And yeah, I am stamping this first um, because in case I get carried away, I want to make sure that I still have room <laughs> for my greeting on the card here. All right, so I'm gonna pull in that same early espresso ink and stamp this. Oh, make sure I get it fully inked here. Okay. Um, yeah, about, about center is what I'm going for on here. All right, it's okay, I got a little smudge up there. No worries because as we get going, um, that's actually gonna get covered up anyways. So next thing, let's go ahead and we're gonna stick this panel down and then we are gonna start sponging all of our little mushrooms and see this card come to life. So I stamped my hello from the Biggest Wish stamp set with soft suede ink. I'm gonna keep my soft suede ink open here because my little mushrooms need some stems. So in this case, go ahead and grab a pack of sponge daubers if you have them. Love these things. Look, I've got enough. I could like decorate all my fingers. Woohoo! <laughs> Isn't that fun? All right, so we're gonna use these today. So using uh, the soft suede, and I'm just going to kind of sponge the uh, stems here of my mushrooms. And then it helps pick up some of that texture there as well. All right, and if you want, you can, there's actually a little embossed line. Can you see that right around there? <laughs> oh, you mean I can't eat these, Luann? They're not olives? <laughs> yeah, I'm still a kid at heart. Love that. <laughs> I do the same thing with my olives, even though I'm an adult. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I am just lately, I'm not adding any extra ink, just using what's here on my dauber for this lower portion of my mushroom. Looks a little messy up here to start, but that's okay. And then we are going to come in, see, even more daubers. Let me line them up here. That was soft suede. Now I'm gonna pull in the Poppy Parade. That coordinates with our cardstock here. And I like the Poppy Parade for this because it's it's like an orangey red color. And we're gonna go ahead and just sponge these all over. Aren't these cute? Again, just so so whimsical. Hey Heidi, welcome. Alright, so coming around the edge here. Kind of following that embossed line in the middle. All right. Something about mushrooms, they're just so cute. Like I said, I took, took a pretty cool picture of a cluster of mushrooms that I saw in the forest this weekend. And um, yeah, that was my inspiration for this project. And then of course, we have to have ferns, so I die cut a couple of the ferns. So these were, so when they actually cut out really smooth, I just used old olive cardstock. 
um, and my stamp and cotton emboss machine. I didn't have to do multiple passes or anything. They just cut out really nice and smooth. And then, of course, I used the mushrooms here, the small one and the large one. And I love it when they have that embossing detail on there as well. This is a really great set with 11 dies on there. That's pretty incredible. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we're gonna use our mini dimensionals for our mushrooms and we'll use some glue dots here for our ferns. So let me find my, find my dots. And let's do one at the base of the leaves. These are a bit delicate, so just be careful with those. Let's go in the middle. And then actually that might do. So let's just do two. We're gonna do this right up the side. Like I said, that's why I um, stamped my greeting on here first. So I made sure I actually left room for, for this here. And then let's see, let's do another one kind of coming up the side here. I think that'll be cute. So again, at the base of the fern and then about midway up. Just press your die cut right onto that and then gently peel it off. Yes, aren't these ferns gorgeous, Diana? Really love these. Diana's my Adirondack girl, so <laughs> this would be perfect. I'm sure you've got some photos that need to be scrapbooked too that these would work really well for. All right, let's go with... Let's see, let's do one of our large mushrooms first. So we're gonna do stem here. And then I'm gonna go left and right on my mushroom topper. Okay, so let's do, let's kinda do this right down in here. So I've got one. I am making sure to stay within the uh, measurements here of my card. Then let's go on and add a little one. This one, I think we just need one on the stem. And then one kind of up here towards the, towards the top. And again, the mushrooms, they cut out really nice too. I didn't have to poke out any of those little, little circles or anything. They just came out perfectly. All right, let's go. Let's put a little one up here. We need to hide our little smudge. And these are the mini dimensionals. These work really nice. If you don't have minis, then like I'm always doing, just go ahead and snip the edges of your regular dimensional sheet. Um, yeah, love to maximize all that. All right, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit to hide that smudge line. And then nobody will be any the wiser. All right, I think that's so cute. Do we need, I don't know. I was thinking of adding another one, but I actually think I like the one, two, three. What do you guys think? Or should I do? Okay, you guys let me know. Are we good with three or should I add the fourth somewhere? What do you guys think? Or if we need to, maybe we should, maybe we should do something like this and tuck, tuck an extra fern up here in the top we could always do that i don't know i almost think that's too much all right yes i'm getting votes from luann and janelle and philomena and three all right perfect all right good idea Lu uh, luann put the fourth inside the card somewhere here i have an extra panel of basic white good idea Go ahead and adhere, oops, come on. Here the panel for inside the card, right in here. So it looks like this is a three and three quarter by five piece, that's okay. And then, oh yeah, let's do that. That looks cute. So we'll add glue dots first on the fern. Okay, one at the base, 
one in the middle. Okay, kind of bring that up from the edge. And then, all right, this one I'm gonna glue flat because it is the inside. So I'm gonna use my seal right there on the stem and then a little bit here on the sides. I'm not gonna go over the mushroom top of the circles because um, that'll get all like gluey and webby and you don't want your card to be stuck. So let's just go ahead and, oops, I gotta move it over. So it actually fits in here. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. We'll just make sure that it's stuck. And that way, it's super cute. And you have like a surprise when you open it. <laughs> and there you go, you've got a, and that way it fits and nothing is sticky, it's all good. If you feel like the white is a little too bright, um, I actually forgot, I was gonna sponge the edge here of the whimsy panel and you could even go ahead and sponge the stitched rectangle too. That would just help distress it just a little bit more, uh, make it not so, not so fresh. When we're woodsy, we want earthy, we want a little bit dirty, a little bit distressed. So you could take your, um, your sponge dauber. Um, I don't suggest doing that when it's already been glued. You could always, well, you know what, let's, yeah. But you could go around the edges and just add, well, let's try a little bit here. Um, where did my soft suede ink pad go? Because I feel like it's just a little too bright. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of this ink in here and just gently, that's just gently kind of wiping it on here. You don't want, you don't want circles on there. But you do want just a little bit of distress. Okay, and then, oops. You don't need a lot of ink, just whatever's left on your dauber, essentially. And then just kind of pull that, pull that down, dirty it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Not quite so, uh, not quite so bright. Yeah, Luann mentions you could also um, start with vanilla cardstock as well. Very vanilla cardstock would give it just a little bit um, creamier of a look there. But isn't that cute? I just love these little mushrooms. <laughs> All right, let's make another one. And uh, we're going to change this up. We're going to make it a little bit more of a late summer card here. I thought these dies were perfect for that. This uh, transition period cooler a little bit cooler temperatures although I absolutely love it. it means we can sleep a little better at night I don't have to have the air conditioning or the heat running I mean this is great <laughs> all right so for this one we're still gonna go with um, crumb cake for a cardstock just a five and a half by eight and a half inch base oh thank you Kim she loves the sponging yeah I think dirtying it up a little bit I know that's I guess in the craft world we say distressing it's a little it's a little nicer than saying dirtying it up, but yeah, I mean, this is a garden woodsy card. So yeah, you know, if you're out there picking flowers or working in the garden or out in the woods, yeah, your hands are going to be dirty. You're going to have dirt smudges on things. And so that makes it more authentic. <laughs> okay. So our card base here, crumb cake, um, Going simple with this, we are just, oh, that's not cut properly. <laughs> but that looks a little wonky. All right, so we should have a layer of four by five and a quarter. Let's see, nope, that's a little too small. All right, I'm gonna have to cut. Who knows what I was thinking when I was cutting that. So. <laughs> can't blame it on anybody because I cut all my own cardstock here. So let me uh, pull in my trimmer real quick here and straighten this out. So I have just a half sheet. So let me do this four inches 
And then five and a quarter. Okay, that should be better. All right, now I have lots of espresso cardstock. <laughs> All right, sometimes that happens, right? All right, so four by five and a quarter. This is just glowing flat. This one's starting out, you know what it is? It's my card base that's off. It's too long. That's why that's coming a little weird. I guess that's what happens. What I did is I just pull things out of my, um, out of my cardstock drawer and I had a, what looked like a half sheet. That was the problem. Okay. So, hey, Laura, welcome. This time I have again done the whimsy, stitched with whimsy dies. Love these, especially since we're going kind of whimsical here with these little woodland mushrooms with our iconic dies. So love that. Um, I went a little bit bigger. As you can see, it's the same die, but I cut my basic white panel just a little bit bigger. So this one is actually three and a half by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters. Whereas the other one was like three and three eighths by four and five eighths. All right, so since we're, um, we're talking about distressing, let's go ahead and do that first before I glue this down and forget all about it. So <laughs> grabbing my dauber, look so much easier when it's not attached to your card base already. So just bringing this in here, there we go. Make sure it gets on some of that stitching. Okay, yeah, just go ahead and blend that out a little bit there. And just, you're kind of pulling away, you're dragging it across the front of your cardstock here. soften some of that up a little bit and just keep pulling it yeah there we go get a little bit closer to that whimsy edge up there okay there we go we got that one good and dirty <laughs> all right so now that we've got that we can go ahead and glue this down So again, building our, building our base here. Okay, so that was three and three quarter by five, or three, excuse me, three and a half by four and three quarter. That's why we've got a half inch border on here. Okay, so the next thing we need, we need, I thought we'd do a little combination, a little collage work here. And so I'm pulling in my Forever Fern stamp set and this little grassy leaf piece. And I thought I would stamp that with some pear pizzazz. Oops, helps if I don't stick my fingers in it. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that first, kind of create a little bit of a, a background here. Okay, that will kind of frame everything in a little bit. Okay, let's kind of come in here. Yeah, just a little bit of collage. All right, so that was pear pizzazz. And then we are going to come in. I've got a whole bunch of mushrooms, uh, but I also want to combine some daisies on this as well. So I've got a strip of basic white. This is a two inch piece. And so I've got my Daisy Lane stamp set, and this is the mini Daisy Punch, or this medium, I guess they call it the medium Daisy Punch. So I'm going to stamp that with some, I want crushed curry ink. There we go. So nice, warm, kind of late summer, early fall colors. So we're going, and I'm stamping this. Make sure that your petals, your center petals, are straight up, are perpendicular here, because that way when you go to punch this out, it'll be so much easier. All right, give yourself a little bit of distance 
between them. Let's do three of these here. Okay. And then let's see here. I want to do, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually, I know this is going to look a little weird, but I'm going to sponge these a little bit. I'm not really coloring them in per se, but just sponging here before I pop them out. I didn't really want the white. I just want to kind of blend some of that color. And then, you know what, let's do a little bit of um, suede in the center there as well. So we'll just kind of, kind of brush it around a little bit. Okay. All right. I like that. I'll take our punch and go ahead and pop these out. I know it looks a little abstract <laughs> on the paper, but then when we go ahead and pop these out, aren't they pretty? Yeah, they came out really nice. So sometimes you just have to, don't be afraid to, um, to make a mess. What it starts out <laughs> might be a little scary, but the finished project will be will be awesome. Okay. There we go. So we've got our three daisies there. So glad that those daisies are still in the catalog. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. Where These are like little pops of sunshine. Let's go ahead and add these to our card. And I think actually those full size are still going to be a little bit too big. So keep working with your minis here. You just need one in the center of each each flower this is one of those fun collage tape cards this is i'm surprised my mom's not on here this is be one of those things that's like totally up her alley she is always doing something that's kind of abstract all right so we've got our three flowers on here now we need to pull in our protector here. This time I've got all kinds of little mushrooms, big and small, and we're going to sponge these with different colors. All right, so let's do, let's go ahead and just do our stems a little bit since I've got my soft suede sponge right here, my finger dauber handy. Of course, you could use crumb cake too if you wanted to. Oops. Okay. So we've got our soft suede. Now let's do a couple in Poppy Parade. We'll kind of follow the suit of the original card there. All right, I'm gonna come in with a little more suede on this one. Blend that out. Okay. All right, so we've got one. Let's do, I guess let's do two of these. Okay. I do want a little bit more of that suede on there okay so we've got our poppy ones make sure i set my daubers aside here so i don't get my colors mixed up all right so now we also need oh let's pull in let's do an old olive all right so oops get my green dauber here yeah, as Luann says, it's amazing how something that looks like a muddy mess that turns out so pretty. <laughs> exactly. Starts out looking a little weird, but yeah, just go with it. It's okay. <laughs> All right. And then a little more distressing on there. All right. So we've got a green one. Let's go ahead. How about, 
How about pumpkin pie? We'll do an orange one as well. Okay. Let's see. Look at this dauber here. Okay. And then, okay, so I have a few extra mushrooms. All right, let's go. We're kind of random color. Let's add a little bit of a blue green on here as well. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, that was actually, that was pool party. Okay, and then we've got a couple extras. I'll set those aside for another project. So let's start adding these on here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Let's just put our mini dimensionals all over these. Might as well do that all at once. Come up your stem for the big ones. You can fit four on here for the little ones, just two. Oops. All right, come on. Oops, oh yeah, I never took the little center piece out. Okay. And almost got them here. Okay, so lots of little minis on here. Take these off. All right, this is a red one. Let's tuck this up in here. Cute, cute. All right, and then we've got a little blue one. Isn't this fun? Has these cute little mushrooms. Oops, here we go. Kind of create a little little collage here. Here we go. Stick them all on here. All right, and then we've got right up in here, another one. Okay, so if you want, now you can maneuver your puddles, whether you want them in the front or not. I've also got a couple little leaves, so let's go ahead. I think these would be cute. We'll kind of tuck our ferns in here, fill in a little bit of that white space. Yes, Luann says um, she enjoys using the polka dots um, on some scraps. Yeah, so the polka dots <laughs> from the mushroom tops there um, did stick to my die cut plate pretty well. Um, but yeah, you could definitely, if you wanted to save the dots like that, then I might recommend um, applying adhesive sheets to the back of your cardstock and that way that would come out, their dots would be nice and, and sticky um, as you were going, and that would be easier to use your adhesive or use the little dots to save them. All right, I had an extra glue dot, so I stuck it to the base of my fern there. Let's do another one there in the center. Thank you, Carmen. Yeah, these are the iconic dies. They're on page 163 of the annual catalog, and they're $29 for the set of 11. They don't really have anything in particular that um, matches. They're just kind of in there on their own. I want to fill in some of this white space. So I'm going to pop this little mushroom stem up so that I can tuck my fern in here with it. And then let's actually kind of weave that behind. All right, that way it looks like our whole forest floor is kind of filled in here. And um, we've got a little bit of white space there. So I probably should have gone ahead and stamped my greeting again before, <laughs> before I did this. But let's, let's see, let me see if, I love this from Daisy Lane. Let's see if the smile will, um, will fit right 
I think that might. Let's try that. I'm going to try this smile. Um, polka dots on the scrap card. Oh, over here. Oh, <laughs> that's what you're talking about, Luann. Yeah, sponging those does make a fun little pattern. <laughs> that would be cute. That would be neat to use those definitely as a little stencil or something. Yeah. All right, let's go. You know what? I'm afraid if I do early espresso, it might kind of get lost um, in there. So I'm going to go bright. We're saying smile. How about we stamp it here and poppy parade right in the front. Woohoo. There we go. That definitely peeks out from behind there. And um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we need... Do we need anything else on these? Do we, I don't know whether to add embellishments, if that might make it a little too much. What do you guys think? I'll pull up my embellishment bin and if you guys think we need, need a little something, something on there, let me know. I'm gonna kind of look through and see, see what might, what we might want. I don't know that I want to do gold. Um, pearls would be a little too frilly. How about... What about these? I've got... What do you guys think? I've got some of the um, little metallic pearls. Those might be kind of cute. Just a couple little metallic dots here and there. Oh, Stella. Oh, that reminds me, Luann. Yeah. So I actually pulled out Stella. Where did it go? She was here a minute ago. She got lost. I actually pulled out Stella and I had pulled out my aqua painter. What I was thinking, actually, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze my Stella barrel here and shake it. Get it. Get it going. Let me bring in my scrap. Let's try this for a minute because what I was actually thinking, get this good and kind of drippy. You guys see we got Stella there at the top. I was gonna just kind of flick it a little bit and get, there we go. Get some splatters on there. Do you guys see it landing? Little specks. You guys see how they're kind of splattering all around there? Actually, I think that came out really good. I'm afraid if I do it anymore, it'll... Can you guys... Is the light catching that? You see my little Stella splatters? All right, let's try it on this one. I like that. All right, so to do that, make sure you, you squeeze and shake your Stella. Get your brush good and good and ready to go. And then just have something to kind of splatter it with. All right, so you kind of squeeze and splatter at the same time. Okay, so you don't want to do too, too much, but see why I've got... <laughs> yes. All right, Kim says, I'll take your word that it's there. <laughs> All right, let me see. Oh, yeah, it gives my whole front just a little bit of shimmer. Can you see we've got some extra little spots here and there? A little bit of speckles, and it actually kind of gave my whole card a little bit of a sparkle on the front. All right, you see it's shimmers on there. Yeah, and maybe now that it's dry, this one will see a little bit better. Let the light catch it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, so that is a little bit messy. <laughs> way fun though all right so there you go we don't need any frilly embellishments on this one because uh these are our our wood woodland woodsy woodsy wonder cards <laughs> we'll go with that yes so we used the main focal here was the iconic dies all right and then we combined them with elements from um from our daisy lane, our medium daisy punch, 
We used our whimsy dies. All right. Yeah, Luann says, if you don't get messy stamping, then you're not doing it right. <laughs> That's right. Just wear an apron or something. Do not wear white while you're stamping. There you go. <laughs> don't take... Don't take unnecessary risks there. <laughs> but yes, I hope you love these projects. They were super fun to make. I will um, post my mushroom inspiration photo as well for you here on um, on Facebook so you can see where that came from. That's my uh, Jess B. Creative Cardiology Facebook page. And um, if you're watching the replay here, uh, whether on Facebook or on YouTube, thank you so much. Love your comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Thank you guys so, so much. And again, September host code there, XD7CNCBP. And if you place an order of $50 or more, you can take advantage of celebration, which we still have a couple more weeks. And uh, your name will also go in my drawing. You could win a $50 shopping spree. How cool would that be? All right, there you go. Thank you guys so, so much. And we'll be stamping with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.